Another tool in a generator is Boolean for 3D objects. As I said before, we have a Boolean for spline, and then we have a Boolean for 3D objects. For example, I insert a cube and then insert a cylinder here, change it. And for example, I want to union them, subtract them. You can use the bool. Hierarchy in a bool is very important. The main object that you want to be maintained and uh, has to be object A and it has to uh, child of the bool in the highest hierarchy. And then object that we want to subtract from the main object has to be object B below the object A in a bool. And as you can see, we have an subtract mode. Because in a Boolean type, we uh, change it to the A subtract B. If you click A union B, there are B union. I give an example above that in a second. A, so a intersect B. As you can see, it keeps the intersection between two objects. We have a cube and we have a cylinder and this is their intersection. And if you want to A without B, <coughs> as we can see, uh, we are A subtract B and we have a surface of the subtract object here. But if you click A without B, we do not have the surface of the cylinder that subtract from Q. And it is become a open object. But in this case, we have a solid object. If you want to subtract more object, for example, if you want to subtract uh, another cube from the, this cube, For example, you can simply click and drag here, but it does not work. Click and drag here because <clears throat> the Boolean object acts uh, with two objects. Object A, main, and object 2, the object that will be subtract from the main object. So, we have to click them, select them, the objects, any object that we want to subtract from main object, and group them. Right click and simply group object. Uh, Important shortcut of that is Control G, uh, uh, Alt G. Group them and they become in a null object and simply object one, object B. And in the null object, you can add any object that you want. As you can see, subtract from the cube. And the interesting part is that you can simply change them back and change them and you can see the difference. So this is non-destructive command you can come back and change your setting okay i want to give you another example uh, from a union <clears throat> i insert two cube make them editable so like this i want to uh control c and control v to copy another Rotate it 90 degree and I want to subtract this plus from this uh, cube. Okay, this is our main cube. Uh, sorry, this is our main cube. Uh, I insert a new bo boolean here. This is our main. We can drag under that. These are two objects that we want to subtract them. Alt g to group them and bring them under the cube and as you can see it subtract but the middle of them will be don't subtract why is that because as you can see i oh, disable objects as you can see these two objects have intersect with us intersect to each other and because of that, we have to union them to combine, to convert them to the one object and then subtract from another object. So you can simply uh, click this and hold Alt and make them Boolean. If it does not work, you can A union B. Uh, sorry, you have to release them on a, a null object and click and drag on their 
the boolean object and delete that null and now there are <clears throat> in this pool there are a union b and then we turn the cube on and then we have a cube and the bool that in a bool we have two objects that are union with each other and then in this pool we can a subtract b turn on and as you can see it works yeah. okay this is <clears throat> it was this is an example about a union b and you can simply go back and simply change the uh, parameter of this and simply change the boolean shape here okay um going back to here and i want to uh, high quality this is because of the high quality of the uh, objects you can simply turn it off as you can see it's like looks like this if you all of this option will be turned off <clears throat> If you turn on the high quality and you can change this sitting here uh, I delete I want to just delete that bring it here delete a null I want to do a simple object here and delete that bool here <clears throat> in a cylinder you can change the subdivision here to better more quality and also quality of the cube for more quality <clears throat> object going back to the boolean and you can simply editable that create single object if you turn it off and click a boolean and make it editable as you can see we have two separate objects okay we have two separate objects <clears throat> Ctrl Z to back. Before making the editable, if you click create a single object, this will be optimized option point will be open. It uh, connect a point, connect a point here in this range, in this tolerance. And make them editable. And as you can see, we have a one object going to the point mode, as you can see. This is one object that connect to each other. Okay. Control Z. Another setting is uh, hide new edges. You can uncheck that. As you can see, these are the edges that we create from connecting them and you can hide them. Create find brick at intersection. If you have clicked that, in a intersection of this object we have a brick uh, in this example you can you cannot see that but um, give you an, another example to show that maybe it works here <clears throat> uh, delete that I'm a circle I'm a sphere here make it more segment changes and I want to subtract the cube from that mm -hmm. make it bigger and bring a bool I want to subtract cube from the sphere the sphere is the main object and the cube is subtract one and as you can see we subtract it here <clears throat> bring a cube like this in the settings a subtract b high quality create single object we create a single object here you can see it's a single object here and as you can see here because of um, you can see this effect for example you can make a ball under subdivision and here it's the subdivision and when you turn the funk brick as you can see a little different between no here if you tick the single object the funk of this surface and this surface will be combined to the one as you can see here look at this if you tick that 
as you can see we are we are, we, are, we are now have sharp edges here for for example subdivision surfaces and the select intersection when you click that and after that you uh, make them editable <clears throat> make them editable uh, sorry going to the select um, create a single object and make them editable and we have a single object here going to the edge mode and as you can see it automatically select our intersect edge for us because of that option select intersection and the optimization optimized point is for creating a single object uh, melt the two object in this range in this tolerance okay this is all about 3d object for uh, boolean 3d object hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release